Okay, folks, I just organized my scene a little bit and uh, added this hair material that we had here to this uh, other material layer. And also uh, put the light sky, this cube, and our studio uh, to an all called scene setup and added that whole node to this scene setup layer so we have a bit more organized. Uh, so, when it comes to working with cameras, uh, the fact that our tracer object uh, really, let me just change this. Uh, turn on this layer color so we can see this uh, hair a bit easier. You cannot uh, go through your timeline. You can see you create a whole mess of your tracer object because it's a bit hard to, uh, it, uh, tracer needs the previous and uh, the next frames to actually calculate. So uh, you cannot go through the timeline. You have to play back your timeline in, in order to have a nice uh, tracer object. So this is why I'm going to uh, export my tracer object as an alembic file and uh, use that alembic file back here this is going to be much more easier for us so let's go there and quickly do this so let's go to our hair setup select the tracer and go to uh, file uh, uh, you can go to your export and then alembic.abc okay and then uh, you can uh, save this uh, file uh, in a place that you think it's uh, going to be uh, okay for you, let me just uh, uh, select a place and uh, be back quite soon. Okay, so let's, uh, I selected one of uh, a folder in my computer and named the file here.abc and you just uh, hit save. Uh, down here, you make sure you have the select only check. Uh, we're having about 1202 frames, which is not exactly what we want. We need something like 700 frames. Uh, and make sure the spline curves and also these uh, even though we don't have any hair so the spline curves will do the job and hit OK uh, and wait for it to actually go through and save your Alembic cache I'm just going to pause the video uh, while it's caching and exporting that data so welcome back uh, now I just exported uh, the uh, tracer object one more time and this time what I did uh, when I uh, use this alembic.abc file uh, I just changed the frame range to start from negative 100 to 700 positive and uh, just let's simply uh, go there and uh, merge our alembic file this is the version 2 which is from negative 100 to 700 import it and hit OK and let me just go to the hair setup and as I you can see I have disabled the tracer and now we have this uh, alembic file here and I can simply hit alt and G to create a null based on that tracer and I can based on that alembic file and I can put my null up and if I change this frame range to frame to start from frame zero you can see we have this uh, hair here uh, selected and we can basically set up our scene now as you can see this hair basically is uh, too low uh, and it's uh, kind of overlap with our main cloner so let's just put it a bit higher and let's just have a quick render if I change my option to high and let's just uh, quickly render the thing and see what we uh, can have Uh, sorry, I forgot to actually apply the hair material to this uh, tracer here. So let's uh, just quickly uh, do that. Go to other material and this is the hair material. Apply this to tracer and let's name it our uh, main hair from Alembic. Let's put it in the hair setup. And there we go. And we can put these guys here and hit alt and G and name them the tracer setup tracer setup and let's just uh, quickly render this thing and see where we are with our render I'm gonna pause the video while I okay so as you can see our alembic is uh, basically working very fine and it's in our scene